Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulullah I passionately appeal to the leadership of the world to ensure the realization of the much needed and anticipated global peace to prevail in every nook and corner of this planet In addition to that, it is high time we apply the universal law that stipulates thus Whatever you love, will it also to your your fellow human being and whatever you dislike do not subject it to your fellow human being let us think for a moment the untold hardship and the totally unnecessary suffering wars have brought to humanity let us bring to bear the civilization we claim to have achieved and really bring it to bear upon us it should not be only a lip service no let us actually act as civilized people so in Quran chapter 8 verse 25 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala emphatically warned mankind in general as follows and fear and affliction that means chaotic situation which may not affect only those of you who in particular are unjust and are instrumental in bringing about the unjust situation and know that Allah is severe in punishment this verse teaches us to distance ourselves from being instrumental in bringing about affliction and chaotic situations in short hardships and suffering because there is the possibility of harming the innocent people and in quran chapter 2 verse 191 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to warn mankind and understand that an affliction of a chaotic situation is severe than the woes of war also in Quran chapter 5 verse 8 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teaches us thus O believers be upright to Allah bearers of witness with justice let not hatred of a people incite you not to act equitably and fear Allah by being careful of your duty towards him certainly Allah is aware of all what you do this verse teaches us that hatred should not be part of a civilized people we should always love all human beings unconditionally and irrespective of their color of their skin their religious afflictions and their geographical places they come from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also emphatically stated in Quran chapter 5 verse 32 Thus, whoever kills an innocent person or spreads mischief on earth, it is as though he has killed the whole of humanity. And whoever keeps a person alive, it is as though he has kept alive the whole of humanity. And certainly, our messengers came to them with clear statements. But unfortunately, after that, many of them suddenly cause excesses on earth. In short, this verse teaches us to be our neighbor's keeper. Let us listen for a moment to Senator Benny Sanders. It is another way of confession to the world about the atrocities committed and the guilt that goes with it by some countries. And it is obvious a plea to put a final stop to all atrocities on the planet. Mr. President, Vladimir Putin may be a liar and a demagogue, but it is hypocritical <clears throat> for the United States to insist that we as a nation do not accept the principle of spheres of influence. For the last 200 years, our country has operated under the Monroe Doctrine, embracing the principle that as the dominant power in the Western Hemisphere, the United States has the right, according to the United States, to intervene against any country that might threaten our alleged interests. That's United States policy. And under this doctrine, the United States has undermined and overthrown at least a dozen countries throughout Latin America, Central America, and the Caribbean. As many might recall, in 1962, we came to the brink of nuclear war with the Soviet Union. Now, why was that? Why did we almost come to the brink of nuclear war with the Soviet Union? Well, we did that in response to the placement 
of Soviet missiles in Cuba, 90 miles from our shore. And the Kennedy administration saw that as an unacceptable threat to national security. We said it is unacceptable for a hostile country to have a significant military presence 90 miles away from our shore. And let us be clear, the Monroe Doctrine is not ancient history. As recently as 2018, Donald Trump's Secretary of State Rex Tillerson called the Monroe Doctrine, quote, as relevant today as it was the day it was written, end quote. In 2019, former Trump National Security Advisor John Bolton declared, quote, the Monroe Doctrine is alive and well, end quote. On this note, I pray to the Almighty Allah to bless us with excellent health and also curtail the coronavirus pandemic for the whole of humanity. I pray for the prosperity of nations and individuals. I pray for healthy and long lives for the world. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bestow upon this earth a peaceful and harmonious atmosphere for us to go about our daily duties in a very harmonious way. By this I say, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala. Obrigado.